This review is on the Canon EOS Rebel T3i. After 3 seconds of using this device, I was immediately intrigued by it. This was a major upgrade for me in terms of specifications. My previous camera, the Nikon D3000, did pretty well in terms of taking pictures. With a 12 megapixel sensor, the images comes out quite sharp, but I knew I needed an upgrade. This camera is at least 10 years of age. I know this because my dad gave it to me. <laughs> to make matters worse, it does not record videos, which is the main reason I wanted a camera to begin with. The Canon EOS Rebel T3i comes with an 18 by 55 millimeter stock lens, which also comes with a built-in image stabilizer to reduce the shaky handheld effect. I wouldn't recommend using the stabilizer on the stock lens because it is very hard to pinpoint the difference when the stabilizer is turned on. The T3i contains a CMOS sensor, which stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Silicon. It is 10 times less sensitive than the CCD sensor. I know many people say that the size of the sensor does not matter too much in terms of getting great quality images, but I still think the pixel count plays a big role in sharpness. Here on the left you got the Canon EOS Rebel T3i, and on the right is the Nikon D3000. This one contains an 18 megapixel sensor, and this one has a 12 megapixel sensor, so in terms of quality I definitely like this one better. Here are some sample videos I took with the Canon T3i. I am currently using this and the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus to record these videos. All I need now is good lighting. If you would like to see part 2 to this review, where I show you the best settings to get great quality images no matter where you are, be sure to click the subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Anyway,